We're asked to find the general term a sub n for the geometric sequence where a sub five equals two and a sub eight equals two twenty-sevenths. Looking at our formulas below, notice to find the formula for a sub n, we need a sub one, the first term, as well as the common ratio r. In this case, we don't have either, and we also can't use this formula here to find the common ratio r because we don't have two consecutive terms in the sequence. So in this video, we will determine the formula for a sub n by setting up and solving a system of equations. So the formula for a sub n is a sub n equals a sub one times r raised to the power of n minus one, and we are given that a sub five equals two, and a sub eight is equal to two twenty-sevenths. Now we'll form two equations using these two terms of the sequence. Using a sub five equals two, we will substitute two for a sub n and five for n. Performing the substitution gives us two equals a sub one times r raised to the power of five minus one, which is four. And now we'll form an equation using a sub eight equals two twenty-sevenths, which is two divided by twenty-seven equals a sub one times r raised to the power of eight minus one, which is seven. And now let's solve the system of equations using substitution. Let's solve this first equation for a sub one by dividing both sides by r to the fourth, which gives us a sub one equals two divided by r to the fourth. Now that we know a sub one is equal to two divided by r to the fourth, we can substitute two divided by r to the fourth for a sub one in the second equation. This will give us one equation with one unknown. Performing the substitution gives us two divided by twenty-seven equals a sub one, which is two divided by r to the fourth times r to the seventh. Let's write that as r to the seventh over one. Notice we can simplify here. There are four factors of r in common between the numerator and denominator. r to the fourth simplifies to one, and r to the seventh simplifies to r to the third. So now we have the equation two twenty-sevenths equals two r cubed. Normally we would divide by two, but because we have a fraction on the left, let's multiply both sides of the equation by one half. Notice on the right side, the twos simplify to ones, leaving us with r cubed. We have r cubed equals on the left side, the twos also simplify to one leaving us with one twenty-seventh. So to solve for r, we now undo the cubing by taking the cube root of both sides or raising both sides to the one-third power. Let's take the cube root of both sides. The cube root of r cubed is r, and since one is equal to one cubed and twenty-seven is equal to three cubed, the cube root of one twenty-seventh is one-third. And now we'll go back and substitute r into our equation for a sub n. We now know that a sub n is equal to a sub one times one third raised to the power of n minus one. And now we need to use either a sub five or a sub eight to determine a sub one. Let's go ahead and use a sub five equals two to find a sub one. So we'll substitute two for a sub n and five for n, which gives us two equals a sub one times one third raised to the power of five minus one, which is four. One third of the fourth is equal to one eighty-first, giving us two equals a sub one times one eighty-first. To solve for a sub one, we now multiply both sides by eighty-one. Notice on the right side, the eighty-ones simplify to one, leaving us with a sub one times one, or a sub one. And on the left side, 81 times two is 162. And now that we know a sub one, we know the formula for a sub n is a sub n equals a sub one, which is 162, times r, which we know is one third, raised to the power of n minus one. I hope you found this helpful.